Ah, yesterday we invited tweets, we invited viewers to get involved in the programme. We had Davy Russell and uh, we had some really, really interesting tweets to Davy. Today it's Ted, you can ask Ted. So all you have to do is hashtag uh, ask Ted and you can ask him absolutely anything. Whatever you like. Whatever you like, there you are. Get them going and, 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 and we'll ask him. Our first race of activity, I can tell you. Ted, uh, uh, this is from Keith Ford. Do you think Harry Can Fly will win at Cheltenham? And what do you think of Annie Power's chances? I think Annie Power, whatever race she turns up and has a huge chance, whether it's the champion her, the mayor's her, or the stayers her. I don't know which room she'll turn up in, whatever she turns up in. I have a few quid in her at 25 to 1 for the champion her. Uh, and I don't know whether she'll turn up or not in that. I'm a big fan of hers. Uh, Sporting Cook says, uh, Mara or Starbar? Or Toblerone every day of the week. <laughs> what about uh, Owen Holland now? He says, uh, who do you think uh, AP McCoy will choose to ride in the champion hurdle, jet ski or my tent or yours? I think he will. I think at the moment uh, he's, he's indecisive. I'd say six weeks, uh, he'll hope that some one of the horses will prove themselves that it, it'll be a clear-cut decision. I'd say if it's a 50-50, the ground will be dependent again. If and if you were AP? I'd wait until I have my mind made up. At the moment, what I've seen, uh, I'd probably go with jet but I mean, uh, my tent of yours was gutsy at Kempton. Just have a thing about him last year at Shelton that he didn't out battle Champagne Fever up the hill. That'd be in the back of my head. I know he's in front of Jetski, but I was I have a soft spot for Jetski. Uh, tell what have we got here. Now, uh, David Weldon says uh, opinion on Champagne James. Any bumper horses to watch out for in the next six weeks? I have no bumper horses, unfortunately, to watch out for. I think it'll horse around the bumper yesterday uh, called Never Never. I'll win it'll four-year-old bumper if he gets a weak one somewhere along the line. Uh, Champagne James will win his maiden hurl and should make a nice chaser. He's run up against a few fair horses. He's not a bad horse by Black, any Black Hercules, I mean, he won well, didn't he, during the week? Uh, oh, you're talking about bumper horses? I thought he was one of mine. Oh, Black Hercules, yeah, he won well enough. Uh, heavy ground at Gordon, no reflection what he's going to meet at Cheltenham. There's a very good horse of Willies that won uh, before Christmas. I saw him win at Navin. I didn't see anything to touch him. His name just escapes me, but he won 100 yards. Jamie Shields says, uh, how good do you think the Tallow Tank is and which race do you think he might go for? I'd say Tallow Tank is a very good horse. He'll be ground dependent. I'd say if the ground is soft, he'll go for the two mile. And if it's quick ground, he'll go for the two five. Uh, Philip Fenton and Barry will make their minds up close to the time, but he's a very good horse. Deceptive. Just keeps pulling out. Well, the tweets have been coming in. Ted, a lot of people want to ask you questions. Uh, here's one from Stephen Farnan. He says, uh, following big race, uh, big race wins in England yesterday, should wind operations be declared prior to racing? Yeah, Interesting. I, they could. They should be. They probably should be declared that a horse has had a wind operation. I mean, it's anything that might help the punter. Uh, I don't know whether it would, if you think as a punter, as a regular punter, if you think it's a good thing, uh, I think it should be. It's not a bad thing, any to say it. I mean, anything I think that might enlighten the punter is a help. Donald Murphy. He asks, uh, how is Seabass uh, and what, are the, what is the plan for him? He's going to run maybe in about a month's time. Uh, he got a bit of held up there. He got a slight touch of a colic uh, before Christmas and set him back a bit. And uh, he was going to run around Christmas time. And he's just getting over that now. And he's back to himself. I hope to run him in about maybe three weeks or a month's time. He's in good nick, thank God. Sean Heaslip, if an owner has more than one horse in a race, do you think the prices should be the same? No. I think that's getting. They the are in France. They are in France and they are in America. I don't think so. I think a fellow wants to. I think we desperate. It's, not, it's grand. Like if you, if some horse is twenty to one and, and the other fellow is six to four and twenty one shot beats him. But if you're going to have a score on a horse of twenty to one and you have to take six to four, I don't think so. Listen, I'm not an expert on punting, but I don't think so. And I think there needs to be a little bit of mystery about it all. <laughs> yes, Tracy. We have time for a tweet here. Uh, here's, here's one for you now. Uh, did you ever think Dougal could have become parish priest uh, with a bit more commitment? I think he could have been, yeah. <laughs> and a good parish priest he would have made. He would indeed. What about this one now? Do you ever back horses or have you ever... Well, I'll tell you what, we'll keep that for next time. Keep tweeting. We're back here in a fortnight's time. Don't forget, it's the Hennessy Gold Cup. Wonderful, wonderful race in prospect. Hope you enjoyed this weekend. See you in a fortnight. <laughs>